Welcome everyone to the hottest hour in professional wrestling. It's Elevation. I'm Paul White, along with Daddy Magic, Matt Menard. Now let's get to the ring with our very own doctor. The following contest is set for with a total of T-minute time limit. The introducing verse, accompanied by Prince Nana. From Chico, California, weighing 272 pounds, the machine, Brian Cage. Tremendous powerhouse athlete, Brian Cage. Just want to send a special thanks out to Prince Nana over Christmas. He sent me a very nice thank you gift for my announcing work on Elevation. Oh, nice yeah. Diamond Brightling Watch. A uh, Brightling Watch? Did you get one? I didn't get anything. Whoops. What is this, some sort of joke? No, just forget I said anything. Prince Nana! I got a bone to pick with this guy. Well, maybe you should say something nice about him. I don't know. He's got a very nice, uh, is that a hack? What do you call that? I'm not sure what you call it. I think it's part of his yeah. signature of being a huh. prince. And his opponent, already in the ring, Shaft! Uh -oh. Pretty good reactions, wow. Seattle. Staff. I mean, I think it's safe to say Seattle knows the shaft. Yes, so that's got to be positive. I mean, but if I'm Brian Gage, this is pissing me off. Brian Cage isn't pissed off. This guy's a seasoned veteran. He's not worried about this extra stuff at all. I would have attacked the guy when he's on the turnbuckle there, given the how do you do to the crowd. I don't think so. Not on my watch. I mean, two big boys going at it here. This should be good. Yeah. So watch how Brian Cage settles this hometown crowd down. Going to his strength, power. Nobody budging here, Paul. Nobody's budging. I don't think Brian Cage expected that. You ever been in this situation before? Yeah, a, couple a couple of times. times, right? What do you do, man? No one's moving. You use the ropes as momentum and get something happening. Both men now back and forth. Oh, yeah! There you go, Brian! That's no. where Brian Cage is such a veteran. Look at the face! Ah. That follows up with that elbow. There you go, Brian! There you go. That's the X Factor with Brian Cage. The guy's a monster, but the agility, look at him! Look at the timing. Waiting for his opponent to get to his feet before he launches oh. that rocket. Kind of a mistake there, turned his eye. He sure did. It's easy to get caught up sometimes with these big crowds. It is. I think Chef right now is probably the biggest crowd he's fought in front of. I mean, he's loving it, too. This crowd is with it. You think he knows his, uh, his jeans are ripped? I don't think he cares. Front flip into the corner just smashed Brian Cage's head into that lower turnbuckle. High standing suplex. Man, Brian Cage is not a lightweight to pick up. He's not, but Paul, Paul and Brian Cage is in trouble here. You know, Brian Cage, 6'1, 285, 90 pounds. This is not what Prince Nana wants to see out of his athlete here. Prince Nana looks a little concerned, but he he's not freaking out. He should look concerned. Gotcha. Good oh. oh, there's that strike ability of yep. Brian Cage. Knee strike, DDT off the knees. I don't know about the posing to the crowd here. It cost him before. It does, but if you watch Brian Cage, he loves to have fun with his opponents. He sure does. And look at the pose. <laughs> I mean, if I had a body like that. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? I mean, you run around without a shirt now. I couldn't imagine <laughs> yeah. if you had a body like that. <laughs> I would make everybody you, sick. Yeah, you wouldn't even wear a jacket. That's a good point. Now, I like this here. Wear them out. Choke him a little bit. You, use your four or five seconds that you got. Well, use that endurance. That's one thing Brian Cage has over a lot of other guys his size. This guy's an absolute animal. His incredible cardio conditioning. Like, if he's matched power for power, he's going to have an advantage with the win. Oh. High side suplex. There you go. That's a cover right there. Pressure on the shoulders. Then we'll try to spread out. Now he's going to slow it right down. Cut that wind supply off to Shaft. Right I like now, it. That rear chin lock. I like it. Shaft now, look, looking for the audience to help him out here. I don't know, buddy. It's funny, in that rear chin lock, Brian Cage has a little bit of advantage with those big biceps. He does. Pressing on the side of the carotid. Look at him leaning on him, leaning on him, making him, making him feel all his weight. Collapsing those lungs, making it hard to breathe. He's got to get up or tap out. 
Good fight with the elbow. Elbow to the Oh yes. Thigh. Brian Cage felt it, felt it loosening there. Smashed him with a knee. He's been there. This is it. He going for the drill claw. The drill claw. Good counter by Shaw. I mean, brother's big. Your brother's big. Here we go. Chop, chop. Big overhead Woo. chop. Swinging for the fences. That's oh. that kicking athletic ability of Brian Cage. Oh, man. That's the second time he's been caught with that. Nice, Larry. Boy, that about cut the mohawk off. <laughs> Shaft the barber. Here we go. This is an opportunity here. Right now he's trying to dig deep, build on this momentum. Nana knows Brian Cage is on the ropes here. Not Brian Cage is not the guy to give a lot of time to. He could be right for the picking. He got him with it. Go for the cover, man. No. Big senton bomb. Paul, is this it? Oh. You know what? That would have been tremendous. Wow. Tremendous upset. I mean, it's what we talk about every week. You got to string a couple moves together. Consistency, build on it, yeah. And, and Shaft did it right there. I thought that, that could have been it, man. Could have been it. Right now, he can't get frustrated. I mean, he's got the crowd behind him. He's pulling every trick he's got out. He's fighting a veteran. It could be his night. It absolutely could be his night here. Oh! A jumping athletic ability yeah. of Brian Cage. Big German suplex. Not Brian Cage's first rodeo. Nailed him. Two. Wow, we got a fight here. Who does? I'm guaranteeing you this is surprising, surprising Brian Cage right now. Yeah, I agree. Ten minutes ago when he's in the back, I don't think he was expecting this type of this type of contest. You know, sometimes you got that hometown, that hometown crowd support, it changes stuff. You don't know what you're gonna get when you're going in there against the local. Every wrestler knows. Crowd oh boy! Himself. Wow! Right on his face! Good night! Whoa! Are you kidding me? See, that's what Shaw's got going for him right now. He can feel the energy of the Seattle crowd uh -huh. pulling for him to pull off a victory over Brian Cage. Absolutely, this crowd's electric here. Capacity in Seattle. You can feel the tension right now. So many people want Shaft to win. Did he, did he just extinguish a cigarette? He sure did. I know Brian Cage doesn't smoke, so. Ah, oh, oh boy! Took too much time! Oh! That's that flexibility of Brian Cage. What a kick! They cut him with a cutter pull! That was a pop up cutter! He nailed him with it! Brian Cage is in trouble. Big guy's gonna finish here! Thanks to that power ball! Two! Whoa! Oh. Woo! I thought that was it. I really did. What a match, guys! What a match! We're on elevation. Two big monsters battling it out. What a treat! Prince Nana's gonna do some serious coaching here. If I was Brian Cage, I'd try to roll out of the ring, maybe get some space. I, th I think it's safe to say Nana's, Nana's in a, a full-blown panic here. He's a nobody, Brian! He's yelling, he's a nobody! I don't know if he's a nobody after tonight, man. I don't think so after tonight. Double chop in the back. Big German! Cage to his feet! Look out! Oh! Discus Lariat. Brian Cage has such an advantage of that cardio endurance and that athletic ability. Plus that power. What's he looking for here? Looks like he's going for his inside out standing. His big suplex. suplex. Wow. He nailed him with it. After all that work, still has all that power. It's incredible. That's why they call him the machine man. He is a machine. Wow. Here it is. Down. Right on his dome. Drill claw. Good night. Winner of this match. Brian Cage! See right there with a slap to the chest from Brian Cage. He knew the shot pushed him tonight. He didn't expect that kind of competition. Man, to the limit. To the limit. Sign of respect. Let's take a look here at the action. Brian Cage picks him up down. Right on top of his head with that bile driver. What do you call it, Paul? The drill claw. The drill claw. And it's lights out. Your winner. The machine. Brian Cage. He is a machine. I mean, I'm pretty sure I just saw Prince Nana wiping the sweat from his forehead. <laughs> well, where are we? Elevation.
Seattle. Monday night, Paul. What a time. Ethan Page, Hardy Party has a match tonight on Dark Elevation. Yep. They've been on a roll. Oh, yeah, they have. Do you think that they can continue this momentum? Of course I do. They're my guys. Tonight, they're going to win the tag match, and then they're going to win the tag match the week after that, and then they're going to win the tag match the week after that because they're under Ethan Page's... Hey, guys. Hey, man. Great to see you. Yes. I just want to tell you there's been a slight change tonight. Are you guys later, earlier? No, instead of a tag match, it's going to be a trios match, and you're going to be involved. Put the microphone I, in front, right, right here. I'm going to talk from now on because this is not supposed to happen. Last week we spoke. I thought we were doing a little better, Matt. I, I thought you understood the hierarchy, both of you. It I, comes from me I, first. I, I, you I, went over my head. No, I, I do. I do understand the hierarchy, but I want to team with you. I mean, we have a great thing going here. And, and I think we can be trios champions. I mean, we, we should rock and roll. Look, look, look. We're wearing green today. Nah. I got you a very special gift. Hold Consider up. this a belated Boxing Day present Hold up. from me to you. Boxing Day? Yeah. You respect my home nation and you bedazzle my ass. Matt Hardy, we're teaming up tonight. Zay, are you pumped? I'm pumped. We're all wearing green. Yep. I, yo, I got to go get dressed because yep. I got to actually put these on. Go get dressed. I got to be ready for this. It. I'm telling you, we can be true as champs. We can bring it. Home for the firm. This is working. Trios champs. This is working. We got a good Love thing it. going. No. Ain't no way. Ain't no way I did not just see that. You dead ass? I am dead ass. Up next on Elevation Tag Team Action, Bollywood Boys versus The Kingdom with Maria Canellis. The following contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, set a combined weight of 395 pounds, hard and curve, the Bollywood Boys. Well, here we are, Daddy Magic. Another exciting night of elevation, the Bollywood Boys. Unbelievable, Seattle on fire. The Bollywood Boys from Vancouver, Canada, just up the road, you know. Just up the road. What a beautiful crowd we got here. I mean, this place is stuck to the Raptors. We capacity crowd. Capacity. Capacity crowd here in Seattle, Washington. Monday night elevation. There we go. Woo! Look at this. I wonder if you and I can do that dance. I mean, I'd love you. Want to give it a shot? Absolutely not. Whoa. And their opponents, accompanied by Maria Canellis Bennett, the team of Matt Taven and Mike Bennett, the Kingdom. There's the Kingdom, and you know, it doesn't get any better than Maria. I mean, you're preaching to the choir here, Paul. I mean, there's, there's pretty, and then there's just stop your heart pretty. You know? Yeah, they come to Kingdom. Not saying that you're not pretty, Matt hey, Bernard. I, you know, I appreciate that. It's a new yeah. year. New year, we're going to start this off on a good turn. Hey, I, I like it. This, this is good. Heck of a tag team match coming up here. The Kingdom, the Bollywood Boys. I mean, I'm pumped here, Paul. I'm excited. I'm ready to get this thing going. No, she and I are both very quiet while Maria Canal is you know? in the ring. You know? It's just like nothing needs to be said. Nothing needs to be said. Sometimes. You just lay out and let the picture speak for itself. Hey, yeah, exactly. Wouldn't do very good for you and I in this job, though. <laughs> no, I don't know. not at all. Yeah. Look at the kingdom, man. They got it together. The poses, the t-shirts, the matching gear. Yeah, they uh, they definitely filled out all the check marks on their pro wrestler card, that's for sure. That's for sure, no doubt. I'm loving it here. Tag team contest. Mike Posey in the ring. We're on the way. So Mike Posey hit 200 butterfly ups in a row at the gym the you, other day. You did not. I did. Mike Posey is a cross free, uh, crossfit freak. A crossfit freak. 
You know, I heard he, he has a real hard time getting his luggage into the overhead carry at, at the uh, on the airplane. Really? You're making a short joke? It's, I, no, I, I didn't I mean, make this come up. On. It's our crew that told me this. Uh-huh. There we go. Hollywood boys filling each other out there. There we go. Nice collar and elbow tie up. Nice headlock. Two veteran teams here going at it. Now you notice there's two veteran teams. Controlling the tempo at the beginning is always most important. That's it. Going to feel each other out a little bit, I think, right? Yeah, you want to try to see if you can take advantage, respect for one another. Nobody wants to be the first to make that first mistake. Nope. Could be one right here. I think he's going for a crucifix. He got caught. Mike he Bennett. Got, Bennett's going to make the tag. Now he got pulled over. Got a cover. Done. Ooh, wrong part of town there. Whoa, boy. He got it. He got it. He did. He pulled it out. Mike Bennett made that first mistake, apparently going for that tag. That's what both these dudes here do so well. The, the double teaming, the tags in and out. That's so important as a tag team. Keep your opponents isolated in the corner, work together, quick tag in and out. Make sure your guy's always fresh. That's the key, is keeping the fresh guy in the ring. I think our fans understand at home how quick and easy it is to get winded. Every time you hit that mat. That's it, and just getting up off the mat, like, like Mike Bennett's doing here. I've seen many pro athletes come into pro wrestling and end up sucking the dirt up off the floor because they're out of breath in like 30 seconds. You got any names for me? No. <laughs> God. I mean, you can probably see everything I've done on YouTube. <laughs> Seattle on fire here, guys. This is a great crowd. Absolutely. You can feel the energy. Stockbreaker. Oh, there we go. There we go. Taven not. Oh, big elbow off the top. Ring awareness mistake right there. Too deep in enemy territory. Watch it. Oh, what a shot. That was a nice discus elbow, I Oof. believe. Elbow right on the jaw. What are we doing, a little dance here? Is that a little dance? I think that was a shot at the Bollywood boys, maybe. Oh, there you go. Mike Bennett feeling it here. A little slingshot. Woo. Good teamwork. Oh, yeah. Big elbow drop. How do you do? What's good for the goose? Yes. That right? was a very effective. Maybe you shouldn't play with the crowd as much and stay focused on the opponent in the ring. Well, it's tough. This, this crowd's on fire here tonight. I agree, it is tough. You know where they're going to be on fire next week, Paul? Where's that? This Wednesday, L.A. at the, the Kia Forum. Angeles. How about that, huh? I'm excited for that one. Let's get your tickets now. AEWTIX.com. This Wednesday, the Forum in Los Angeles, the Kia Forum. Kia Forum. That's important because we don't want people in Los Angeles to go to the wrong form. That's a good point. We want to go to the Kia form. The Kia form. Although I think there is only one form, the Kia form. This coming Wednesday. Is that using the rough count to the advantage? Smart. Oh, yeah, Maria getting a little shot in there. Good attack by Mike Bennett, too. Knock his opponent off the apron. Kind of slow down that tag opportunity. Nicely done. Textbook suplex there. I don't know about this cover, Paul. You know, sometimes, you know, there's psychological games. It's a lackadaisical cover, but at the same time, you're still covering your opponent. They have to exert energy to kick out. That's for so, sure. Yeah, it's a little showboating, you know? A little showboating. I mean, why would you ride a bicycle with no hands? Because you can't. I don't know what's going on here. I don't know. This Mike, looks, looks like a Matrix glitch. Mike, Mike Bennett with a little cardio sesh. Mike Bennett, all that running for a thumb to the eye. I do appreciate it. Maria liked it. You didn't like it. Oh, I didn't say I didn't like it. I just, you know, I'm more of a direct approach. I want to run as least as possible. Yeah, I, I hear that. I'm like the old bull. I don't want to run down. I want to walk down. <laughs> the old bull. This crowd coming alive here for the Bollywood boys. Coming up out of that side headlock. Nice gut shot. Yep. No! Wow. And Bennett answers back with a big shot. Here we go. A little fight left in him here. Mike Bennett's got that knife edge shot. Back and forth. Woo. Man, we got a match here. What kind of condition Mike Bennett's in? Nicely done. Now we're talking. A little pressure on those shoulders there. So, you know, hooking the leg, putting all your weight across the shoulders. A nice tight cover, not allowing that core to engage and kick out. Looking for a little double team action here. Nice, nice spine buster. Beautifully done. Oh, David, nobody home. 
that's the mistake we were talking about. That's the first big one here of the match. Definitely the first big one. It's high risk maneuvers. Sometimes give great rewards, and then sometimes the bill comes due. It could be the TSN turning point here. Nice crowd reaction. Big time. Nice comeback. Everyone's getting a smash here. Oh, yeah. Close on for you. Back elbow for you. Up and down. That's really old school and well done. Nice spin kick there. We got a cover. Ooh. A little bit low on that cover. He didn't get that back yeah, across that upper chest. That's where he didn't use the leverage there to his advantage. Nicely done with the suplex. What's he signaling for here? Another elbow drop. I don't know. These guys like the elbow drop, I'll tell you right now, Paul. It worked for Randy Savage for a long time. No doubt. Here it is. Through the heart. That's got to be it. Whoa. It's tough you got that many bodies in the ring. You can't count on the rougher to clear the ring for you. That's for sure. That's a sign of a good veteran tag team. Said it a couple times now. Ring awareness. He's taking on two, two on one here. Doesn't matter. We're hitting everybody. All right. Here we go. Oh! Take him out. out. Kingdom's looking to finish. I mean, Posey's lost control, right? How long have they been in here now? I don't know. I think Posey's still tired from all them butterfly ups. It's got to be at least a minute. No! What do you call that one? Here we go. Good teamwork. Good night. Oh, so I made that this match, the Kingdom. That was good stuff, man. What a win. That's a nice double finish with the kingdom. We have to find out what that's called. What if they got a name for it? Here we go. Let's take a look here. He had him in the backpack with the stunner, the big kick, and it was a lights out, Paul. And look how smart Mike Bennett is to turn his face to the hard camera. That's right. Put that's your right. money maker in the camera. That's a veteran move. These guys have been around. Bollywood boy's gonna live to fight another day here. Your winners on Elevation, the Kingdom. Claudio, tonight on Dark Elevation, you will face off against Josh Woods, who's actually a former ROH Pure Champion. What do you think of him as an athlete? Oh, I think Josh Woods is a tremendous athlete. I mean, former All-American, former National Champion, like we said, former Ring of Honor Pure Champion. Uh, he is, I think, probably the best mat wrestler, pure wrestler uh, in AEW and ROH for that matter. A uh, lot of respect, a lot of respect for Josh Woods. Um, I'm actually looking forward to stepping in the ring with him and test myself because I think Josh Woods has not realized his potential yet. I, on the other hand, have been the testing block. I've been the mountain to climb. I have been the final boss for years. Win, lose, or draw. Title, no title. And now I am the Ring of Honor World Champion. And one thing throughout my whole career has stayed the same. I am the guy that people want to step in the ring with to see how good they truly are. I am the measuring stick. I am the bar. I am right here. You know why? Because to me, it doesn't matter where I defend this Ring of Honor World Championship. It is always a World Championship when I have it in my hands. It can be AEW, Dynamite, Rampage, Dark. Doesn't matter. When you step in the ring, you're in for a fight. Claudio Castagnoli, der Endgegner wird jeden testen, der mit ihm in den Ring steigt. Josh Woods, viel Glück. Really looking forward to that matchup? Don't miss it. Coming up next, big time tag team match is the Wingman's Ryan Nebeth, Pretty Peter Avalon and the Trustbusters Aria Davari take on the House of Black with Julia Hart. All right. <laughs> Business is picking up on Monday night. The following contest is a trios match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, the team of the Hollywood hunk, Ryan Nemeth, and pretty Peter Avalon, and Trustbusters, Ari Davari. That was 
much as I appreciate Pretty Peter rocking that members only jacket, you know, I gotta be honest with you, I'm kinda sad he cut all that luxurious uh, hair off. Yeah, you know, we gotta call the spade a spade here. I I'm not a fan either. You're not a fan of who? Well, well that he cut off all the all the hair. Oh, no, it was you know what I would do to have hair like that? <laughs> yeah, I bet. I, I mean, you did at one time. Yeah, a brief time <laughs> for a hiccup. Here we are, folks. Seattle. Capacity crowd. Hollywood Hunt Ryan Nemeth. Take a look. Looking tan. I'm, I'm going to be looking out for that uh, the hunk chant that's been going out through the uh, every audience that, we, that we've been in front of the last couple of weeks. Do you, know, you remember, Paul? Hunk. Hunk. We'll see. Hunk. Uh oh. Accompanied by Julia Hart, honoring the House of Black, Buddy Matthews, Brody King, and Malachi Black, House of Black. You know my partner, Matt Menard? Yeah. Name one entrance in AEW that is more dramatic than that one. Off the top of my head, I, I mean, I, I can't think of any. I don't think it exists. It's like opening the gates yes. of hell. I mean... The mass of you, man. You can even see Julia Hart in the back of those men. Oh, Big Brody King, Buddy you know? Matthews, they're monsters. And then that cult-like leader and Malachi Black, a very sinister individual. It's quite the spectacle when the House of Black makes their entrance. Something to be seen, folks. Incredible group of talent right there. I know, I'll tell you right now, I would not want to be standing across the ring. I wouldn't even want to be their neighbor. You know? Like, imagine if they live next door to you. I mean, between you and me, I feel a little uneasy up here. I'm just glad you're here with me. Well, I'm not going to do anything but break your leg and oh, run away. What? What? I don't have to run <laughs> fast, just faster than you. I thought it was a new year. Oh, well, it's a new year, but that is the House of Black. Fair point. Peter Avalon starting things off here. Pretty Peter. He's gonna have his work cut out for him. Well, he went from. Well, maybe, maybe I don't. I don't dislike the short hair. Maybe. Maybe it's, maybe it's gonna grow on me. He's still pretty Peter. A very good-looking man. Yeah, I just, you know, all the shampoo and conditioner endorsements he could have had. I mean, pretty Peter better watch out with Malachi Black. This guy is a master of strikes. Sure is. Fastest feet in AEW, probably. I'd have oh. to say. Look at that textbook arm drag coming off the Deep ropes there. Deep arm drag, almost sure parallel did. on the twist. Hug the arm there. Oh, wow! Pretty Peter with a high drop what kick. What a shot! No oh, boy! And there's those quick striking feet of Malachi Black. So precise. He's almost like a sniper with those kicks. I mean, you can't see an inch of skin on Malachi Black or Brody, Brody King here. Look at the Look at leg the tattoos. Trip. Look at that. I, I, no, I love the tattoos, but that... Ridge hand leg trip by Malachi Black was just so quick and vicious. Buddy off the top. Oh. That'll just blow the Hollywood Hunk's elbow yeah. completely. Look at the look on Buddy Matthews' face. Just such an impressive powerhouse and just vicious. How come he doesn't have tattoos like the others? I like, guess. likes his skin. Maybe. I, you know, it's a good call. I don't know. Pretty if I was built like Buddy Matthews, I wouldn't have yeah. tattoos either. Pretty good complexion. Complexion, nice guy, great wrestler. The thing I like about Buddy Matthews' work when I watch him compete is how tight everything he does is. There's no seams in his holes. Very quick, precise. Hollywood Hunt swinging with a haymaker. Yeah. I don't know if that got the effect that he wanted. Might be a mistake here, but, but I mean, you gotta take your shot. You gotta take, you gotta your, take your shot. shot. I mean, this is it. This, this is the big leagues. This is AEW, man. 
Monday night television. Wow. Buddy Murphy in control here. Wow. Buddy did you Matthews. hear the impact on that kick? Yeah, I sure did. Great ring awareness yeah. by Buddy Matthews. No, no, no. Not today, my friend. I would back off to Davari. It's almost like he's got eyes. In what? Oh, what? Oh, Davari's yes. trying to. Nailed it. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. He nailed him right there. Right behind the referee's back. Is there a tag? I think there was a tag maybe here. I didn't see a tag with a trust buster these, got tagged in. These guys don't bend the rules, Paul. Let me tell you. No, not, not at all. all. They don't bend the rules, these guys. Law-abiding citizens. That's right. They pay their taxes. Here we go. Just look at that core strength of Buddy Matthews to kick out, not even on one count. Comes pretty Peter. Great, great yeah, strategy. This, this is what you got to do. I mean, Isolate. Buddy Matthews still fighting, trying to fight back here, but. Well, they, they know if they let Buddy Matthews get up to his feet, he's going to tear somebody's skin off. That's it. Uh, Devardi used that five seconds beautifully, holding Matthews there. Pretty Peter going to work. Still, oh, we got a match here. We have an excellent match. I'm glad to see that Pretty Peter, unlike Samson, still has a lot of fire without his hair. <laughs> Guys, maybe Pretty Peter here, like, he's grown a bit of an edge now, you know? I don't know if Ryan Nemeth is making a mistake letting Buddy, Murphy, Buddy he, he, Matthews get that close to the corner. He, he rolled right over to the other side, huh? He, he kicked him right back. It's all right. Here we go. But even Buddy Matthews is smart here. He's in a defensive position covering up. It's like he's rope-a-doping almost. Kind of is. Now, I like Poor this. Hollywood I mean, Hunt. I mean, I would be doing this with the House of Black, but I mean, I'm a fan of the, the, the hip thrust. Oh boy! Oh! Wow, that was like a choke slam into a knee lift. Yeah. yeah That's gonna up. ruin the Hollywood Hunks Paul Newman looks. <laughs> wow. You know, I have a cat named Paul Newman. That's a cool name for a cat. Right? Not bad, huh? Yeah. 10 years old this summer, Paul Newman. Good for that. Here we go! Ow! And there's nothing pretty about what Big Brody does. He just comes in like a wrecking ball. Yeah, he is a wrecking ball. I wonder if he listens to Miley Cyrus. A wrecking ball? Yeah. It's a good song. It is a good song. Somehow I don't think that's Buddy Murphy. Big Brody's form no? of music. No, uh, he's got a soft side, this guy. Or Buddy Matthews probably doesn't like it either. Like, no! Big squisher in the corner. A big squish in the corner, that's right. Oh, he's going to be looking for the big cannonball. Or a wrecking ball. What an wrecking ball. Right? What an intimidating athletic. Hey. There you go. That's what you got to do. Smart move. Malachi yeah. Black not going to stand around and take that here. Pretty Peter, Hollywood Hunt, trust buster, Avi Dabari doing a real good job of isolating House of Black best they can. Oh, look at that teamwork right there. How did he even know? Tremendous stuff. No! Oh! Look how fast oh, that boy. kick came up. Yeah. Wow. It's That's just precise decimation. Oh, boy. You're, you're not kidding, eh, with the kicks in this team? Yeah. Every one of these guys are lethal. Whoa! Look how athletic Buddy Matthews is. And this is a trend in House of Black six-man tanks. When they get cooking like this, they take everybody out, no hesitation. It's pack mentality. Yeah. They fight like a wolf pack. And honestly, I <gasps> look how intimidating these guys are. Honestly, it's intimidating and effective. I don't think anybody does it better, man. No. That's a wrecking no! ball. Oh, wow. Good Howard Lord. Gabari right now. His trust just got busted. <laughs> well said. All she wrote. Winners of this match, House of Black. As intimidating and as impressive as ever, House of Black on a roll. Impressive, man. Wow. Let's take a look here. The triple team, triple strikes, cannonball, double knees. All she wrote. You know, I said it before, nobody does six-man tag team action better than the House of Black. Victorious here on Elevation as we take a look at Julia Hart. What an amazing change in that young lady as well. That's for sure. Monday Night Paul, Seattle, Elevation. Here we are. Up next on Elevation, in singles competition, Powerhouse Hogs. The following 
contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from East Palo Alto, California, weighing 270 pounds, Powerhouse Hobbs. P -p -p Powerhouse. What kind of a slogan does it say about a young man when it says, I break backs? Yeah. It's a man who has a lot of anger. I wonder if uh, Vinny Pacifico here in the ring took a good look at that <laughs> entrance. That monster powerhouse Hobbs coming down the ramp. You see he's got the uh, the book of Hobbs with him. Have you had a chance to look at the book of Hobbs, Paul? I don't want to look at it and I don't want to be in it. I, you know, I got a chance to read it over the holidays. Oh, good light read. It's a good, it's a good read. It is it now. Some good investment tips in there, chapter five. What? His opponent already in the ring, Vinny Pacifico. Yeah, good luck, Vinny. Yeah, I, I love the courage on Vinny right now. But Absolutely. He is literally in the ring with a guy that breaks backs. I hope the payday's good, man. There's just no empathy in Powerhouse Hobbs. There's Look none. Look at his eyes. He really, there are people that say that they don't care. This guy epitomizes don't care. I mean, I, I am a big fan of Powerhouse Hobbs, man. Like, what is not to like the size, the power, it's in his name, does it all. Just that upper body strength, Look those at huge him. chest, shoulders, and traps. Look at the body on this guy. Like Arnold would say, those cannonball shoulders and giant thapesias. Can you call the rest of the match as Arnold? I can try right now, Poundhouse off. Oh! oh! With a lariat. No, I guess I can't. <laughs> I appreciate the effort. I try. Thank you. I just don't see Arnold saying lariat. <laughs> ah, with a clothesline! Yeah, maybe that's better. <laughs> Yeah, We're here all night, folks. Yeah, make sure you tip your bartenders and waiters. Oh, no, boy! What a squisher. Do you see how fast Powerhouse The explosiveness. Hey, that's oh. it. When you got that size of strength and that quickness. Dude, that first step explosiveness. What kind of 40 does this guy run? Unbelievable. He's got 275 pounds and that fast. He's ruthless. Just a ruthless individual, Powerhouse Hobbs. I've seen this before. She's gonna, she's gonna pound on this guy's chest. Oh God! He's just toying with him here, Paul. Yeah, yeah Vinny wishes his cousin was in here right now. It's oh, good. See what I did there? Where's Marissa? Here we go. Oh, Vinny Pacifico's in a lot of trouble right now. Our good referee, Paul Turner. Checking on Vinny, see if Vinny wants to call it a night. I mean, I'd call it a night if I was Vinny up there right now. Yep, as soon as I saw the entrance, I'd break backs, I'd call it. This is the shuttle dominance right here of Powerhouse Hobbs. I like this gear of Powerhouse Hobbs, too. His colors, the silver, the gold, the black. Yeah! Just wow. drop him on his ass! I've never seen anyone do that from the standing suit. Yeah, not even going to bother falling with the guy. Wow. Screw it. Not that he doesn't give any Fs, he's just out of Fs to give, I guess. Dude. Wow. That's just, uh, that's just reckless and careless on a whole other level. Just dumped him right on his arse. Poor Vinny, man. Yeah. Way to fight uh -oh. back, Vinny, there you go. Uh-oh. Oh, no, Vinny, Vinny. Vinny, son. Don't, don't get him upset, yeah. Vinny. Oh, boy! Spine buster! What a move! Winner of this match, Powerhouse Hobbs. Again, we talk about power, we talk about explosiveness. The power of Powerhouse Hobbs to catch Vinny Pacifico off the top, then jump and turn in the air. Let's take a look here, Paul. There it is, just as you called it. Caught him. Right down with the spine buster. Good night. P -p -p powerhouse. I'm really surprised that Vinny Pacifico's boots didn't pop off. Wow. He had his boots laced up tight tonight. He sure did. There's the Book of Hobbs. The Book of Hobbs, guys. This guy means business. That's very nice leaving him a copy like that. You think you signed it for him? I would hope so, at the least. Monday night. Elevation, folks. Thank you for joining us. More to come. Coming up next, Nyla Rose and Marina Shafir in action. The 
following contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Vicky Guerrero, the team of the problem, Marina Shafir and the native beast, Nyla Rose. Oh, it's nice to see Vicky Guerrero out with her team, but yeah, what, oh wow, wow, Vicky. That's not a good look. It's not. I've seen my wife give me that look. Yeah, that's time or not two. a good thing to see the hand and go. No, yeah. do it yourself. Look at the problem, Marina Shafir. Look how focused she is. It's like they, it's as if they asked her, is there something wrong, sweetheart? No, nothing's wrong. Yeah, you bet your bottom dollar something's wrong. Now here we go, Marina Shafir. Taking off her shoes, taking off her socks. As you see Nyla Rose enter the ring here. Next time you see Marina Shafir, she's going to be bare feet. Barefoot. Their opponents are in the ring, the team of Amira and Danica Della Rouge. This contest is about to get on their way. Referee Rick Knox. It's like Nyla Marina trying to get Vicky to come down in the ring. Vicky yeah, staying up on the ramp. She's staying right here. She's next to us over here. Being a little stubborn, I think, if you ask me. I, hey, you know what? I keep my mouth shut when it comes to Vicky Guerrero. Well, oh, somebody's got a teller, Paul. You Whoa. Go, you go right ahead. <laughs> wow, that thrust kick by Nyla Rose. Whoa! Nyla not playing around tonight. New Year, new Nyla. Oh, wow, that's cute. Made the thing to herself. That's good. I've never seen that before. Yeah, well, that's what happens sometimes when your bell gets wrong. She's got, she's got a bit of a sense of humor, Nyla, if you, if you follow her on Twitter. Here comes Marina Shafir, this psycho, with no shoes, barefoot, the barefoot one. Look at that throw. Woo! Crisp and tight. Nice save and a breakout. I mean, we see Marina Shafir here every single week, Paul, and every single week, she just gets better and better. What is she doing right? She's just sitting down, daring her. That's actually, Come a, get that's me. actually a Mitch Martial Arts defensive position. There's a lot of problems the problem can cause in that position right now. You've got to be real Look careful. Look at that, the cut. Look how she took her off balance, kicked the knee out. Now there's a, a knee lock that is with so, an ankle. This is so impressive, so unique. Nobody in AEW like Marina Shafir, I'll tell you right now. That's why she's the problem. She's a problem to counter. It's a high knee strike. Oh, nope. You're not going to get her, not today. Wow. Not tonight, not any night. Your shoulder. Yeah. Another judo, judo throw. Judo throw, would you call that a judo throw? Yeah, it, it scared you so bad you couldn't say it. Sure Look at that knee strike. I don't know of any other female competitor in AEW that's technically sound as Marina Shakur. That's think a good about, point. You know, her ground wrestling, her strike attacks, her joint locks. You talked about Buddy Matthews, the intent, the crispness of his of his movements. Marina Shafir in the same vein. Same vein. Even with her grip ring, grip right there, it's it's a skeletal grip, not a finger grip. Smart, strongest grip there is, the grip that Marina Shafir has. Oh! Wow! Right in the ribs, right in the gut there. I think this is about all she wrote. Oh, oh man! Well, that was just dirty. That's for sure. That they're just having a good time now. Little New Year's fun here, Paul. I, I guess. You know, everybody has fun in their own way. Look out! The DDT spiked her right on the head. Well, that is definitely all she wrote. Just cover her. A little mercy here, folks. Vicky's one. Winners of this Paul. match: the team of Nyla Rose and Marina Shafir. Talking yeah. about the problem, Vicky's got a problem. I don't understand what's going on with Vicky. I'm too scared to ask, I'll be honest with you. It's very confusing. Her team won. Her team won. Her team did fantastic. There's there's something going on that we don't know about. I mean, last time I saw, I believe it was on a rampage a couple weeks ago, Vicky had brought up Nyla not being the T TBS champion anymore. Like, is that still a sore spot? But I mean, you got to move on in life. Elevation. Maybe so I don't know. That's between Vicky and her crew. You tell me. Hey, tag division. It's 2023. New year. All your luck has run out. 
because the butcher and the blade are coming for you, and we're lean, mean, and we're smoking all that green. Yeah, newsflash, slick! We are the Midnight Riders! We are the Master Killers! We are the Butcher and the Blade! And we're here to kick your ass! Up next on Elevation, varsity athlete Josh Woods, accompanied by Smart Mark Sterling versus Claudio Castanoli. is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Smart Mark Sterling from West Palm Beach, Florida, weighing 220 pounds, the technical beast, Josh Woods. Beast, beast is a good call for him, wouldn't you say? What's that? Beast? So, yeah, yeah, technical beast. No question about that. I, you know, I, th I thought uh, Smart Mark was going to come out with the mic here tonight, maybe run down the town a little bit. I was looking forward to it. You're now, looking forward to that's it? That's right. I want to see what he's going to say about these scumbags. I hope he doesn't touch a microphone at all. Come on. Oh, boy. Listen to this place. And here's the moon, accompanied by Wheeler Yuta from Lucerne, Switzerland, weighing 231 pounds. He is the Ring of Honor World Champion, Claudio. It's going to be a match. Two technical, you know, wizards, if you will. Oh, there's complete rest as part of that Blackpool Combat Club. These guys are strikers. You know, Claudio's got that best European uppercut in the wrestling business, period. No one does it better. Hard to disagree there. Who does it better? I mean, I'm, di I'm not disagreeing. I agree with you. Oh, I was about to say. This guy, this guy smashes faces with that thing. I felt it numerous times. I'm sure you have, too. <laughs> I've had my bell run a couple ah, times. I bet. I uh, believe it. Plus, he's just a cool guy. I mean, I wouldn't say that. Come on, he speaks of, like five lines. He sure two. does. He sure does. Your current reigning Ring of Honor champion, as you see right there. I think he's got like a 405 overhead press. <laughs> yeah. One yeah. of the strongest human beings I've ever encountered. Yeah. You know what I mean? You wouldn't know it looking no. at him, but literally, he's stronger yeah. than most guys that's got 100 pounds on him. And here we go. Consummate sportsman. That's the Ring of Honor, Code of Honor, the handshake. Collar and elbow here. Josh Woods, Claudio Castagnoli. Did I say that right? Who knows? Well, I'm sure if you say it wrong, he'll tell you. That's for sure. In five nice different languages. by Josh Woods. Claudio Chance ringing out here from Seattle. Jockey in for position right here, trying to get that under. Good take That's down a by Josh Ooh. Woods. You notice Claudio not letting his shoulder stay on the mat there. Nope. Do you ever do a lot of that ring mat, wrestling mat? I mean, I've done a little bit of it. Nothing, I mean, not at the level of these guys, though. No, these guys make it look like a whole nother, you know? whole nother universe. I try to stay away from the cauliflower ear, you know? <laughs> I try to stay off the ground. Giants aren't very effective on their back. There you go. Great athleticism nice, here. Great block. Yeah. Notice the double hand grip on the block. Good call, good spot. There you go, Josh Woods not gonna let it happen. He gets to the rope. Boy, that's one guy I'd like to see go for an airplane spin. Who, Josh Woods? No, Smart Mark Sterling. Well, you gotta get Smart Mark Sterling. He's a lawyer, that's all I need. Yeah, this, you know, this guy, I got him to a car wreck. This guy really helped me out, you know? I'm sure he did. He looks like an ambulance chaser. Whoa! I got in a wreck, I needed a, a check. Josh I called Smart Mark. Caught out of the back of the knee. I'm really surprised that. that one of Smart Mark Sterling's clients. That's right. Look at this. Claudio's in trouble here. He sure is. Yeah. Smart play on Josh Woods' part. That a boy. Take out Claudio's knee. Real aggressive elbow drop to the knee. Now he's got that ankle lock, putting pressure on the ankle and the knee. And Claudio's hurt here, Paul. Very smart work on Josh Woods' part. Just stay on him, man. Just stay on him, Woods. This, stay this, aggressive. You, you know, Josh was a former pure Ring of Honor champion. No stranger to gold here. Huge opportunity against Claudio. 
strong, athletic. Strong. And look at the size of a man. He is. That's the, why he's a the, technical beast. The thickness. Look, notice look how at we that covered cover. You saw that? He grabbed the knee and the ankle, locked down the cover to make it that much more painful on the cover. He's trying to pin you, and he's punishing you. That's a very smart wrestler right there. This guy's really winning you over, huh? He is. That's an. That's one of the most impressive things I've seen in a while, just from a technical standpoint. It's smart, the little things, right? It's the little things, the details yeah. that make all the difference. There is. If he'd only dumped that lawyer ringside, he'd be a lot easy, better off. Easy, easy. Listen, you ever find yourself in a pickle, you give Smart Mark a call, he's going to work it right out, I promise. Paul. If I was on fire, I would oh, call Smart oh, Mark. Wow. wow. You'd call the fire department. Like like well, yeah. Oh. Well, i just call for help. There it is. Wow, Josh Woods got his bell rung on that one. And another one. We know what happens when Claudio gets momentum going. Yeah. Get your hands up. There we go. He's got to weather this storm here. Get him out of there, ref. Good job. Good job. Oh, look at that. Come on now, Paul. That's, what do you mean? It was fair. He backed off. I guess. After that attack to the back of the knee, Josh Woods get him he deserves. Cover. Josh Woods knows, though, he's just one punt to that knee, and we're back to where we were. Yeah. But you're in there with a guy who literally is a machine. He's no like question. AEW's Iron Man. No question. You know, a lot yeah. of guys talk in this business about doing 60-minute matches. Yeah. I bet Claudio could do a 120-minute match. I, I, you know, I, I, don't, I don't question that, not for a second. This guy's in peak physical condition. Look at Josh Woods. There the we counter. go. Yes. Now he's got an ankle lock trap. Crank it, dude! Same knee that he attacked earlier. All the pressure being applied to all the ligaments, the ankles, the knee. And the knee. This, is a, this is a very precarious position for Claudio to be in. Claudio's got to reach the ropes here to break the hold. Got to get to the ropes. It's about the only way you can get out of that. Unless there's a roll through, maybe. But there you go. Looks Stop like Josh Woods is too aggressive with that. Locked it back in. What do we got going here? Stop the ropes. Oh, oh, he nailed it. We got a bridge. Whoa! Whoa! That was a close call that right there. That was so smart and talented. Josh Woods trapped Claudio's ankle against his upper thigh on that German suplex. Did he really? Which doubled the impact on the knee. Wow! I mean, I am tell you, I'm super impressed with Josh Woods right now. He's putting on a clinic. You could look at Claudio now. He is in a world of hurt. I don't care who you are. That much torque on the knee takes its toll. Looks like Josh going for a double under it. There's a power of Claudio. There's a power of Can Claudio. Can he do it with his knee? With the knee, he's still going. Wow. wow! But it took his toe. You called it. Go back to it, man. There you go. So smart. Caught him good there. Got a cover. Claudio, he's wearing Claudio down here. He's wearing him down. I would never thought that I'd see anyone actually wear Claudio down. I mean, this is something here. But no. Josh Woods came in with a plan and is executing it. To perfection. To perfection. To the credit of Mark Sterling, who came up with this game plan with Josh Woods I earlier this afternoon. That very I'm telling you, this guy. Smart Mark Sterling couldn't come up with five bucks for a cup of coffee. Oh! No. Maybe took a little bit too much time there, got caught, Josh Claudio. Woods is in a lot of trouble up on that top turnbuckle. Yeah, yeah I, I question the, the judgment of Josh Woods going to the top rope there when you had Claudio grounded. Especially with that technical game was working so well. He is in trouble here. What are we looking for? A superplex He's here? He's attacking the knee again. Look at yeah, Josh. You got to. Every time he gets in trouble, he goes to that weak point. You got it. I got to say, it's the last place I expected this match to go. Oh, boy! He nailed him! And you see Claudio grabs, grabs the knee right away. Cover him, Josh. Whoa. Notice on that cover, Josh Woods had the back of the knee and the ankle trapped on that cover. Man. Like, he is like a, a pit bull going after the same chew toy. You, after that knee, after that knee. Unbelievable performance here. Super but, impressed with Josh Woods. And, and as we're watching this, all I could think about is the, the future of Josh Woods. It's just a matter of time before this guy puts it all together. I mean, maybe he's going to do it tonight. Maybe he will do it tonight. Look at this. Didn't get that clean roll through. Gave Claudio enough time to counter. Claudio's a scrapper, right? He'll scrap if he has to, let me tell you. It's that Blackpool combat training. They know That's how to right. strike. That's right. Huge high knee lift. Here we go. A little bit of a strike exchange. Watch it, Josh. Oh. Whoa! He smoked him! Smoked him! 
winner of this match, the Ring of Honor World Champion, Claudio Castagnoli. Josh Woods wrestled a near, a near perfect match, and all it takes is one shot, Paul. One shot, let's take a look here. The big swing, Claudio had his knee worked over all match, could complete it. Josh Woods tried, just did everything he could, pulling out all the stops, and here you're gonna see he just gets caught, wham! Right on the money, one shot. Everybody has a puncher's chance, man. Again, that's why Claudio Castagnoli is the hardest striker with that European uppercut. He decapitated Josh Woods on it. Josh Woods had that match, went, had advantage, Claudio, one shot, changed it. Incredible, your Ring of Honor champion, Claudio. Coming up next on Elevation, six-man tag team match. Ethan Page, Isaiah Cassidy, and Matt Hardy in action. What an ovation, Paul! The following contest is a trios match set for one fall with a 2 one team. Hey, and it's the music! <laughs> Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You guys haven't caught up yet. Me and Matt Hardy are becoming on good terms, right? Give Shoot. me a fist bump, Matt. So, I did not cut the music because I don't want to have a good time. I mean, cranky ass say doesn't want to have a good time. I say, we party even harder. Play that song again. All right, cranky ass say. Wow, looks like all ego Ethan Page is on the same page with Matt Hardy. How about that? What a turn of events here. Isaiah does not look happy. That's cranky. Wow, that's... Ethan Page was all the yeah, lyrics. Yeah, give it up for Ethan Page and his partners. Yeah! He knew all the lyrics to the song. Yeah, there's no lyrics, Matt. That was just annoying. Stop. You think you know everything. Matt Hardy. <laughs> OK, you can cut the music. I'm done dancing. Thank you, Seattle. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah. It's already entering the team of Cody Chan, Sonico, and DJ Mo Rosa. Wow. This crowd loving that, some Sonico. Sonico in the mask, Cody Chan taller with the silver tights, and Guillermo Rosas in the silver singlet. This crowd on fire in Seattle. We're gonna be in LA at the Forum, the Kia Forum, on the 11th. Fresno, California, Paul. On the 18th, you can get your tickets right now, Paul, if you want it. A-E-W-D-I-X. <laughs> don't, don't be doing no flips, say! A-W on the West Coast, I love it! Wow! Funny that all you know, Ethan Page wouldn't want Isaiah to go to his strength, which is his aerial offense. Well, that's just out of jealousy. Yeah, I, th I think Ethan Page gets off maybe a little bit on on uh, boxing cr cranky ass Isaiah around. His middle name is Ego. Is, is that what his mother named him? I don't know. It's what's calling himself. Great teamwork, Isaiah Cassie and Matt Hardy. That's what we see every week from these guys. Of course, Matt Hardy, tag team specialist. No slouch uh, on his own either. No, great singles competitor. That's for sure. One of the greatest tag teams ever in professional wrestling. One half of. The Hardy Boys, the of Hardy course. Boys. Revolutionized tag team competition. I mean, at this point, we got to say Matt Hardy, one of the greatest of all time. Well, that, yeah, right? you can I say mean, that same thing. No question. Without a doubt. Yeah. Guillermo Rosas here taking a few forearm shivers from Matt Hardy. Matt Hardy with a wrist lock. I mean, it's got to be a little intimidating for these guys, right? We got a capacity crowd here in Seattle, and you're across the ring from a legend like Matt Hardy. Oh, it definitely you is know? intimidating, but it's a great opportunity to test yourself, too. That's for sure. Wow! Did he just give him the finger? He sure did. He said that all ego Ethan Page was number one wow. in his book. Flipped him the bird! I like it. Oh, no, no, you're doing a great job. You just keep it up. <laughs> yeah! 
Yeah, yeah, how about that, Isaiah? You piece of crap. I think that's just detrimental to tag team continuity. Well, listen, I mean, he, he didn't start it. He gave him the finger. I thought it was nice of Isaiah Cassidy to offer him the tag in. Classic Matt Hardy. Elbow drop right to the back of the elbow. It makes it hard to... We got a little bit of an argument here. Matt Hardy trying to keep it together. Very smart work in that elbow of Guillermo. I didn't say that again. Guillermo. There we go. He caught him, side effect, nailed it! All right, Matt, I'm ready for that tag now! Oh, boy, this guy's a bit much. It's yeah, the perfect the time! Well, you're just praising Hell him yeah. a minute ago. I know. Now I mean, it's a bit much. I get, I get a real kick out of it, fellow you Canadian. You are a fair-weather friend. Oh, man. God, don't yeah. you shove it, Paul. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Now you're back on his yeah, bandwagon. Listen, listen. You know, you were confusing. I didn't take my meds this morning. Here we go. Well, we go, Ethan Page. Very disrespectful tag to Isaiah Cassidy. And Isaiah took exception to that kind of yeah. tag. It's like we, they forget we, we're in the middle of a contest here, guys. Well, there was also a thing called respect, too. And all ego Ethan Page is showing Isaiah Cassidy zero respect. And uh, now he's caught. He's caught now. Isaiah's trapped here. It's a great snap suplex by Guillermo. Try for a quick cover. Isaiah Cassidy kick out. Big chop by Guillermo Rosas. This crowd is chanting something here. This Seattle crowd is hot. Oh, they've man. been wild all night. Oh, it's been great. And here comes Sanico. Snapmare takeover. Is that a weightlifting belt he's got on? I don't know. Got some sick gear here. I think I'm a fan of Sanico. Well, these guys could pick up a victory here. That uh, Hardy and, uh, and Page and Isaiah Cassidy. Oh, the people love this guy. Not on the same page. Cody Chun in there. Isaiah's cornered. Who knows what could happen here, guys? Well, let's not forget. There's Isaiah Cassie fighting out of the corner. Oh! Big right super the, kick to Cody Chun. Right on the money. Oh, he nailed him! Isaiah's gonna make that tag, and here comes Matt! A block, a shot, here we go! Oh! Hardy cleaning his clock here. As only Matt Hardy can do. That's right. Version one, ball of fire. I love it, man. Matt Hardy, week in, week out. He is here just busting his ass, working hard. I love it. Well, I mean, he's been wrestling since he was, what, 13 years old? He's, he's done it all. In the back, from the backyard. We got a cover, Aubrey. Here we go. Nice save by Sonico. Notice Matt Hardy put his foot on his shoulders to help hold him down. Sure did. If Sonny Coe didn't make the save, that would have been three. Uh-oh, here we go. The, lead. the three courses of deletion. Everybody gets a taste. Here we go. <laughs> Classic Hardy. Absolutely. Nice splash by Isaiah. So athletic, Isaiah, guys. He's still suffering from that you damn see that? killer. Ah, oh, willing tag by Matt Hardy, Ethan Page. Maybe Matt Hardy's starting to see the value. <laughs> Look at this guy of oh, Ethan Page. Yeah. He nailed it. Oh, with the twist of fate. The twist of Page, we call it now. There we go. Wow. The winners of this match, the team of Matt Hardy, Isaiah Cassidy, and all ego, Ethan Page. You know, a lot of things will happen in this world, Matt, but I will never call it a twist of fate. Wow. That is a twist of fate. That will always be Matt Hardy's move. Well, you can take that up with Ethan Page. Isaiah, not happy. You guys got the victory here. What's the problem, man? I think there's a lot of disrespect from all ego Ethan Page. That's what Isaiah Cassidy's upset about. Well, listen, life's not fair. You don't always get what you want. I mean, this is look, look at Isaiah Cassidy. He's real sour. You know how frustrated and trapped he is right now? Real sour, this guy. Victorious, He has though. a right to be sour. Victorious here on Elevation. Up next on Elevation, the Ring of Honor Women's Champion, Athena, in action. One of my favorites, Paul.
contest is set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Dallas, Texas, the Fallen Goddess and the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion, Athena! The Fallen Goddess herself. Doing a high five from a fan, all smiles. The Ring of Honor, Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Her opponent, already in the ring, Viva Van! Viva Vans, impressive. See very, that? Very athletic, Viva Van. I hope she has a jaw of steel, Paul, because she's going to need it. We've all seen Athena change gears so fast. Oh, yeah. She's very condescending to most of her opponents. I mean, she's had a great success run, Ring of Honor Women's Champion. Oh, look at her giving her a free shot here, real sportsman. That's never a good idea. Real sport. Yeah, yes, yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give it to her again. Come on, Athena. Just the disrespect. Oh, that's how you do it, Athena, showing us how it's done. Well, I guess confidence has its place. He even took exception to that. Yeah, I don't know if that's what you want to do here, sweetheart. She is the Mike Dyson of the women's division. He was very smart covering up in that defensive position. Yeah, good luck. Just touching her face with her elbows. Trying to let Athena work off some of that wrath. It's just uh just avoiding the inevitable here. Oh, yeah, yeah. Thinking her out like yesterday's trash. It's just the aggressiveness that Athena shows when she changes gears. She's laughing, smiling, mocking. It's a it's like a dichotomy of personalities, all in one bubble. And I got, I got, I got to say, well, we've known Athena here for, I don't know, just about a year or something, but um, I didn't think she had this side of her personality. No. Oh. You know, I, I, I didn't I, think I, she I, had this side. I've actually sat down and played Dungeons and Dragons with Athena. I never saw that. You know? You think you know somebody. You think you know oh. Oh. Well, that was just completely devastating for Viva. Double knees right to the shoulders, slamming her head into the steps. This is a great time. This is a great time. Well, not if you're Viva, that's for sure. No, no, but come on. I'm having a great time watching this. Yes. Make her suffer, Athena. That's a nice arm trap, cross face, right under the bridge of the nose. Super there it is. Painful. There it is. The tap out. Just a matter of time. Winner of this match by submission, the Ring of Honor Women's World Champion. Oh! This is where Athena's got to be careful. Going after the referees, the after the bell rings antics could get Athena in a lot of trouble. You know, I've noticed it's always Posey, too. Maybe she doesn't like Posey. Mike Posey's a very competent official. Say he left, he loves CrossFit, you say. He's an incredible athlete. Your Ring of Honor women's champion, Athena. Victorious. Here we go, I can feel it coming. Yes! Give it to her! You know what she's going for, man. We're not done here, Seattle! All yeah. right, look at that shot in the kidneys here. Right in that lower floating rib. What are, they, what are these people booing for? Viva Vans in a lot of trouble. They have no, they, they have no sense of entertainment. They don't know what they like, these people. What? Wow! You kidding me? Marina! Look at that look at the turn. Oh. That just gave me goosebumps. Oh boy! What is happening? I think someone's taking exception to the fallen goddesses rule in the women's division. This is something. The seal of approval here. Or Viva Bond, this seal of approval. Now hold on. Is Marina confronting Athena? Or is she approving of this? I think it's a personal loyalty to Viva Van. I think it's a message to Athena. Is now, this a confrontation? We, is this a matchup we're going to be seeing in the future? Oh, man, I'm excited about this. Give me this, Tony. Give me this, yes. Tony, Tony are you listening, man? Let's do it. Let's do it tonight. Make this happen. Pointing to the Ring of Honor Women's Championship. She Message won. pretty clear. 
And I'll tell you, this, this would be a test for Athena. No question. We just saw Marina Shafir. I mean, if anybody can handle Athena. Marina Shafir can the problem. Notice how Athena. She backed off. She backed off. She backed off. That's the respect that every woman has for Marina Shafir, the problem. I mean, you know the ladies have been watching. You know when you can get away with something, yeah. and you know when you can't. Did not expect to see this here tonight. I'm super excited. I want to see this match. Woo! Elevation! Up next on Elevation, a big time tag team match with Eddie Kingston and Ortiz in action. with a 20 minute time limit. Interesting verse at a fine weight of 458 pounds. The team of Eddie Kingston and Ortiz. I know you have some personal grievances. First of all, we are joined by the legendary Angelico. Welcome. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, amigo. Come and stop. Let's have a dish. That's the other commentary table. Wow. Sorry. Sorry. It's all right, some of us are multilingual. Eddie Kingston, one of my favorites here in AEW. Why? Because he's real. Their opponents already in the ring, the team of Ricky Gibson and Eddie Pearl. Oh, boy. You see the threatening fist? This guy was pulling back. Good luck, boys. Well, strong style, I guess. They're in there with two very competent, talented competitors in Eddie Kingston and Ortiz. Eddie Kingston Ortiz, they've been teaming. We've been seeing them, seeing them here throughout the months on Elevation. You hear that Eddie Kingston chant go out through the crowd here in Seattle. Make what do you think of that, that chant in Helico? The people love him, and rightfully so. Absolutely. See, honest journalism. Matt, maybe you should take a clip. You back off, Paul. A little feisty New Year. Jeez. Did you not get a nap today? I didn't get enough. That's right. Hey, I get a little cranky. Get a little cranky. That's right. All our elbow tired. Eddie Kingston right away goes to the headlock. Crank in the headlock right under the ear, across the jawbone. How painful is that, Angelico? When applied like that with the bone of the forearm right on your jawline under the ear, it hurts like I can't tell you. Ooh, oh. Doesn't it? But probably that hurt more. Big tackles, he shakes it off, Eddie Kingston here. Out of the way, Aubrey. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you gotta love that, man. That's smart wrestling right there. Why am I gonna hop over here? I can just drop down and put you in a rear chin lock. Now side headlock. Just cranking it, man. So smart, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's right. Hey, work smarter, not harder. Oh, yeah. yeah Eddie Kingston's a more of a brawler. Like, if you want to brawl, that's Eddie Kingston's game. Let's brawl, bro. Nice suplex. Tagging Ortiz. This team, man, they're getting it together, Eddie Kingston and Ortiz. They're going to be a force to be reckoned with here in the tag team division in AEW. Well, they trust each other. You know, in tag team competition, you really have to trust your it's partner. A, it's everything. It really is. I mean, these guys have known each other for years, going back, I don't know, at least a dozen years, probably more. Probably the child of these guys. Probably. Two, two New York boys, right? Who knows? New York, they got the same New York attitude, white yeah. philosophy. Nice He's pin. been finishing people with that move right there, with that pinning combination. What do you call that, man? I don't know. The sneaky one. <laughs> <laughs> Ortiz able to get out of that pinning nice. trouble. Nice back elbow. I mean, Ortiz just cleaning the house here, guys. Ortiz is on fire right now. There's a little flapjack action. We gotta, oh, yeah. we gotta get the hip thrust, the, the, the wiggle, something. I know I want to see it. I mean, who doesn't fall? I'm down for anything, man. <laughs> Tiger. Tiger style. A little kung fu. Kung fu. Look at Ortiz got busted in the lip on one of those exchanges. Good. Right here, baby. 
Good. Hope he gets a nice dental bill. You know, you're really tough on the microphone there, Matt Menard. Now listen, I've stepped up to these guys numerous times. I've got nothing to prove here. Sunset flip. No! Oh! Oh! Wow, I'm gonna steal that! That's great! What was that? That looked like a Russian leg sweep into a what, double knee yeah. backbreaker? Yeah, absolutely. That was that's, terrific. That's inventive. I don't think Eddie Kingston's that impressed. Yeah, I mean, he liked it. He was giving it a round of applause there. Check this out, boys. What are we looking at? The Russian backcracker. The Russian? The Russian backcracker. I'm digging it. It's good, the Russian backcracker. Oh, that Spanish announce team really has it together. Yeah, man, dude. We gotta pick up our game. We need to pick up our game. Smart tag team competition. Keep your opponent isolated. And I like it. And this team here, they got the matching gear. They're working good together. Sometimes they just have to battle the matching gear, you know? That's all it takes to impress me sometimes. Well, here's where you get a little. Oh, bit what? A little Randy Moss action. Is that legal? I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if it's legal, but it was well, unnecessary. It's a good point. Arby should have called for disqualification. Is that misdirect and come back with that Larry. There it is. Here comes old business Eddie Kingston. You know he's. Oh, just... there it is, the big back fist. How do you do? Good night, buddy. Well, you can see Eddie Kingston registers pain differently. Whoa. Nicely done with the exploder there. That's classic Eddie Kingston, boy. DDT! Salut! Winners of this match, the team of Eddie Kingston and Ortiz. Eddie Kingston didn't even break a sweat doing that. Where's he going, Eddie? He's done. This guy's had enough. Let's get paid by the hour. Eddie's on a mission, that's for sure. Ortiz taking it in here. This capacity crowd in Seattle. Monday night, boys. Elevation. And, and Helico. Here we are. All right. Up next on Elevation Singles Competition, Bandito goes one-on-one -on -one with a fallen angel, Christopher Daniel. is set for one ball with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first from Los Angeles, California, weighing 215 pounds, the fallen angel, Christopher Daniels. What a great treat for us on elevation. Absolutely. Now Christopher Daniels, fallen angel here on elevation. What a treat is right. And he's been mixing it up lately. Got a big victory last week over Flying Brian Pillman Jr. Yeah, Christopher Daniels is back, and he is looking better than ever. Looks healthy, in shape, ready to go. Man, this guy's done it all, huh? Hasn't he? There are veterans, and then there are veterans. And his opponent, from Torreón, Mexico, weighing 188 pounds, Bandido! Welcome back, Bandido! Bringing this Seattle crowd alive here. Talk about high energy. That is right, gentlemen. If you do not know Bandido, he is one of the most impressive luchadors Look at in this. the world today. This man is nothing short of sensational. You're like our Mike today. You're going to come in and give us all the updates on the luchadors, huh? Hey, why do you think they sent me here? Here we are. This is something. That's why he's part of the Spanish announce team. Hey, why are you talking to me like I'm an idiot? Well, sometimes we wonder. Wow. With love. Just tell the boss, man. You try your best. You're all right. Believe this, guys. Let's just enjoy this incredible match that's about to start. Right now. I'm definitely excited to see Christopher Daniels, Fallen Angel versus the Bandito. Hey, this is something, man. Christopher Daniels kind of smart, keeping his distance from Bandito. Not very sportsmanlike, but hey, he's got a Ring of Honor Championship match, so he doesn't have to shake his hand if he doesn't want to. That's for sure. That was actually the last time I believe we saw Bandito challenging the Ocho. Chris Jericho for the Ring of Honor Heavyweight Championship. And he almost beat him. Almost beat him, absolutely. Yeah, well, uh, almost, what's that, only count horseshoes or something, right? Listen, you know you can earn a lot of respect in a great contest. That's for sure. 
that athleticism by Bandito. We got the dueling chance going here in Seattle. Beautiful Lucha Libre arm drag. A lot of respect for both combatants. All right. Execution style there on Christopher Daniels. I'm telling you, this crowd's been hot all night. What a great time, hey eh, boys? Sounds been great. That's for sure. Wow. Wow, look at Christopher Daniels. That's one way to get out of a wrist lock. Done, rolls over. That's how smart the veterans are here in elevation. They don't go for that drop down tackle hip toss. Oh, when you drop down, I'm going to take advantage of it. Yeah, maybe I drop an elbow on your ass. Right. You know? That's a good point. I think some of the younger guys get excited and all that movement and well, forget to, why they're here to that, win the contest. You do sometimes forget why you're here, you know? You're trying to put on a show for the fans instead of just trying to win the match. Uh, it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be pretty. Listen, I've made a career out of doing stuff that wasn't pretty. Everything <laughs> I do is ugly. <laughs> I haven't been pretty since 95 on Cobo Hall. But how'd you survive that? The big fall off the Cobo Hall. Yeah. I was 23 and a giant. I was impervious. It's a word you can look it up later. Impervious. Right now, if I fell off a sidewalk, I'd be done. <laughs> Christopher Daniels now hanging in here. Bandito in control. Smart job of trying to keep Bandito calm, if that's such a thing. You don't want a guy like Bandito to get a lot of momentum, start applying that high-flying luchador style. It's like it's like Daniels trying to weather the storm here, the early storm of Bandito. Well, sometimes when matches as a veteran, you know you just got to out-endure your opponent. That's right. And no doubt conditioning not, not a factor for Christopher Daniels. Top shape. Trying to counter that potentially hazardous maneuver that Bandito was oh. attempting. Nice gut shot by Bandito, shoulder to the stomach. Look how smart Chris Daniels is to block with the rope. I love it. That's what you got to do, man. That's it. It all. Look at this. Take the eye out. That's what you got to do. Yeah, all right, man. I like First it. I respect hand. it. Do you? Bit yeah, day. absolutely. Hey, look, I'm not above taking a shortcut. You do what you got to do. There you go. From behind. Absolutely. Mm. Maybe uh, twist the mask. a lot about your character, sir. Leave me alone, man. Maybe you twist the mask. The guy can't see as well, can't breathe as well. You know the pride of a luchador in their mask, right? Yeah, I don't give a rat's ass about the pride of a luchador when I'm trying to win a match. Wow, you were just begging to get jumped. And if you see Bandito's mask in person, that thing is a work of art. It is it's a work of art. I agree. The materials. I'll tell you, I'm glad he wears it. I'll tell you that right now. That's part of the magic of luchadors is the mask and the outfits that go into it and the, the symbolism behind a lot of it. A lot of the journey of a luchador is expressed through their mask and their gear. You know what I respect? There was, I respect what Christopher Daniels is doing right now. We can control this matchup. As a smart veteran yes. does. That's right. Wear your Watch opponent head, down. Chris, come on. Oh my Ooh. God. Fist to the Watch side up. of the face. Side of the face and the neck. Going to work, man. Maybe give a Bandito a stinger. We've all had stingers in this business. You lose your grip in your hands. Makes it hard to strike. Can't do anything. You know, when your left arm doesn't work. Oh. Nice sit out drop. Cover here. Notice all the weight, all the weight of Christopher Daniels. Daniels is looking great in this match. Sure is. A little bit dirty. A little bit dirty, great. but more of a savvy veteran approach. How do you think you hang around for 35 years, 30 years? Oh, come on. No, 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 but uh, honestly, you got to know every trick in the book. A trick, you just got to be smart. Oh, well, look at Bandito. This is one tall electric jump, oh, toe slam ish. Oh, no, thank you. Uh, Christopher Daniels wasn't planning for the power of Bandito. I was going to say, that, to your point, Paul, I mean, I, I didn't expect Bandito to be this powerful. I mean, Bandito that's a great pound, position. One of the strongest men in AEW, I'll tell you that much. Oh, that's a good didn't point. know that. Good call on Helico. Watch it here. Whoa! Whoa! What do you call that? It's like a 620 corkscrew. Tornillo de las estrellas. There you go. That was well said. Nicely done. Took the world right there. Quebradora. Oh, baby. Let's do it. Bandito's feeling momentum. Christopher Daniels a lot of trouble right now. Watch it. I like that old school atomic drop. Oh, just jacks Ooh. up the tailbone and the lower back, locks your legs up. Could be over. You know, I think Bandito thought he had it with that. You know that atomic drop slams a tailbone into your lower back. 
Guys don't move after taking that because their legs are numb. People don't realize they're locked. Your lower back shut off. That's for sure. It looks funny, but it doesn't feel funny. Look at the easy jump to the top rope here. Bandito, he's looking for something. What do you think he's looking for? This is where he's most comfortable. We're going to find out. A little, a little dance. A little tribute to Guerrero. Oh. Let's do it, Bandito. The frog splash. Oh. Not that ace, it's Christopher Daniels. Smart on Christopher Daniels using all of that three count to kick out at two and three quarters. Every second counts. It sure does. There we go. Yes, the veteran. Feet in the ropes. No. Not going to pull that one Good off Paul Turner. Good wrestling pull. Got to say, that's off Paul Turner. He caught him, but. Christopher Daniels a little upset about that. Keep your head in the game, man. Roll up. Got to keep your head in the game. He knows that. Big gut wrench here. Whoa, the strength of Bandito. Look at the strength yep. of I am. You're right, Anna. Look, I'm super impressed with his strength. Pound for pound, man. I'm telling you. Here we go. Daniels, he loves it. Angel's wings. He nailed it. It's done. It's got to be in here, folks. Two. Ooh. Wow. Barely Woo. a kick out by wow. Bandito. What a match here, guys. Christopher Daniels has got to be frustrated with this. He thought that was it. Bandito showing that intestinal fortitude to kick out. Slam. Here we go. Daniel's got to be sensing the end is near. You know what's coming here. He's going to be looking for that moonsault. Bandito knew it too. He got it covered. Turner with the cover. This time Bandito crossed the legs, negate some of the strength on the kick out. Got him good right. Super kick. Got him good there. Off the ropes. Whoa. Look at this. Look how strong Bandito is. Big time gorilla press. Whoa. Like nothing. What, what happened? happened? That's impressive. What is going on here? I don't know, man. What a match here, folks. Bandito is something special, guys. I had no idea there was that much power. Oh! oh. Knee strike. Good. Good guy, Christopher That's gotta Daniel. Be it. Wow. Bandito, what the world's match? most wanted. Bandito. You heard it here first. Bandino dug deep, fought a long battle with Christopher Daniels. At the end, the fallen angel did fall to the power of Bandino. What a match, guys. What a night we've had here in Seattle. Elevation Mondays. Man, this show's been on fire. I'm telling you. And we're not done. We got the main event. Coming up where? Next. On. Elevation. Seattle. Where are we? Seattle. Coming up next, it's your main event as the Spanish Announce Project take on the best friends. Oh, look at that. It's your boys. SAP business. Sorry, gentlemen. Judy Scholes. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall with a 20 minute time limit. Introducing first, accompanied by Angelico, the team of Luther and Serpentico, Chaos Project. All right, guy, look, he is. Our luchador expert. Spanish announce project. Look at Luther. Look at his haircut. The Road Warrior Hawk. You say Road Warrior Hawk. Yeah. I was thinking more of Luther's conservation efforts, where Luther has saved a lot of Colorado Rams that are on the extinction list. What? I'm telling you, many faces of Luther. And their opponents, Seattle. accompanied by Dan Housen, the team of Chuck Taylor and Trent Beretta. Best friends. Best friends country here. Definitely best friends country. Look at this buffoon. What is he wearing? You would be real careful to not let Dan House in here you say that. Why? He's going to curse me? He could curse you. He might curse you, and you'll have to wear a shirt. The is he, your is life. he wearing a moo moo? I think my grandmother wore a moo moo. <laughs> Sounds like a lovely lady. Oh, she was mean as hell at oh, 4 yeah. foot 11. She beat you with a wooden spoon? No, but she did make some badass chocolate chip cookies, though. Luther and Serpentico teaming up on the Kentucky Gentleman 
Chuck Taylor. One of the best names in all of professional wrestling. Got the gentleman. Isn't that a great name? God, absolutely. Look at this little do si do here. This never works out well for Serpentico and Luther. You gotta love it. Watch it, Serp. No, oh, so food. food. You gotta give the people what they want. Here it is. No. Not if you Luther, Paul. Not, All right, yeah, get, get dirty, Anelico. As charitable as Luther is outside of the ring with his conservation efforts, he's not that charitable once the bell rings. Not that charitable once the bell rings. That's good. That's good. So Pentico slinging Trent Beretta into the guardrail. Look at Luther. This guy's a lunatic. I think he's just misunderstood genius. You really, you really have a, a soft spot for Luther, don't you? I'm amazed by all the talents of Luther. He's been a Formula One driver, a European bodybuilding champion. Look at this guy. An FBI profiler. What is he that? He descends from Danish royalty. That's incredible stuff. It's amazing. These are all the things I've done just doing a little research on Luther. To do his Wikipedia page. I should write it. He's got to figure out that whole spelling thing right now. Nicely done. Double underhook suplex there. We're getting some quick tags here from the uh, Spanish announced project. He's using Serpentico again as a weapon. And his Bandito may be the strongest pound for pound. Oh, hold on, hold on. You hear that? Luther's trying to work on something. You just screamed S A P. <laughs> Serpentico pound for pound is one of the toughest guys here in AEW. I was trying to market this, uh, Luther. Tell you, he's a man of brilliance. You guys, he's just misunderstood genius. I don't what, know yeah, if now, really now we're giving the people what they want. All right. Look at the camera work there. I don't know if I need to see that. I think the cameraman didn't want to see it. Uh-oh. Oh, here comes trouble. It's Bozo. Yeah, get him out of there, Bryce. <laughs> OK, it's pretty good. He can't throw out the ref, although it is pretty fun. <laughs> it's pretty good. Poor Bryce Romsberg needs to be thrown out of the ring. Uh-oh. Trying to stop a curse here. Oh, no! Oh, I think oh. Luther caught the curse. I mean, for all the times Luther has used Serp as a weapon, I don't even know how to commentate on this. That's yeah, a tough one. You just call what you if see. If it was Christmas, I'd say it was double jingle bells, but Woo. we're past Christmas. Early Valentine's surprise. Here, <laughs> here we know. go. Chuck we're looking, Taylor up top. Looking to finish here. And now, cover. Good night. That was fun. It was. Winners of this match, best friends. Always great when you get to see the best friends. You know, Dan Housen had that little bit of crazy factor added into it, if you will. Your winners on elevation. Best friends, Trevor Miller, Kentucky Gentleman, Chuck Taylor, with Dan Housen.